Reward tracks are the primary way to earn rewards in World vs. World besides killing enemies for loot bags. And the best part is you'll always have a reward track active. That's right, every 5 minutes you'll be progressing on a track and earning rewards. In this video, I'll be exploring the different reward tracks and how they can be tailored to your current in-game objectives. For each scenario, I'll give you one or more recommendations to help you make the most of your reward tracks. By the end of this video, you'll have a much better overview of the possible reward tracks for your situation. Now, it's important to note that not all reward tracks are created equal. Some are repeatable, meaning you can do them multiple times, while others are non-repeatable and can only be done once. And some reward tracks require you to unlock a specific story step in the living world or with dungeon reward tracks where you have to do the story mode before it becomes available to you. So make sure you pay attention to that as we go through the different scenarios. So what are the scenarios? Throughout the video we'll cover the most important reward tracks, the best profit ones and the ones great for crafting legendaries and more. Are you ready to dive in and learn about the best ways to earn rewards in Well vs. Wild? Let's get started. So you're new to Well vs. Versus world and you're wondering where to start with your reward tracks. Well, I got some great news for you. There is a certain track that will provide a high and lasting value to your well versus world experience right from the get-go. This is the Warclaw reward track. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what the heck is a Warclaw? Let me tell you, the Warclaw is a game changer. It's a powerful mount that allows you to move quickly across the battlefield and keeping up with your fellow circlings. It's a must-have for any serious well versus well player. The best part is that you only have to unlock it once. So make sure you put your first few rank points into the Warclaw ability to unlock the reward track. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. Once you have the Warclaw, you'll be able to keep up with your allies and come out victorious. So don't wait any longer, get started on the Warclaw reward track today. When you're looking to gear up a character but don't have the budget for Ascended Gear yet, don't worry, there are still options available for you. Exotic Gear is completely sufficient for most gameplay and these reward tracks will provide you with stack selectable gear. First, check out the Triumphant, Legacy and Crystal Desert reward tracks. These tracks are repeatable and will give you an exotic armor piece at the end of each track. If you're looking for a non-repeatable option that can provide you with a range of stat selectable gear, the Silver Waste reward track is a great choice. So whether you're looking for Celestial, Marauder or Ritualist gear, these reward tracks are a great way to gear up your character without breaking the bank. When it comes to seasonal reward tracks, it's important to keep in mind that they are only available for a limited time during festivals. These reward tracks can be a bit hit or miss in terms of the rewards they provide. The Super Adventure Box reward track is a limited time reward track that rewards players with weapon skins. The Dragon Bash reward tracks give players the opportunity to obtain dragon coffers, which can be sold on the trading post for gold. The Festival of the Four Winds reward track offers a very low chance to acquire rare and expensive infusions. Another seasonal reward track is the Halloween reward track, which grants players 20 slot inventory bags. Lastly, the Winter Stay reward tracks contains a variety of skins, minis, and finishers. These reward tracks are only available during their respective festivals, so it's important to take advantage of them while they are active. Crafting legendaries is one of the most exciting journeys to go through in Guild Wars 2, but it's also one that requires some planning. For legendaries, one of the most important reward tracks to focus on is the Gift of Battle track. This track is essential for obtaining the Gift of Battle, which is a world versus world exclusive item that is needed for most legendary items. However, it's not just the gift of battle track that you should focus on. If you're looking to craft legendary world versus world armor, the triumphant armor reward track is a must. This track will give you some armor skins you need to craft some of the best armor in the game. If you're looking for specialized materials for the living world legendary trinkets, the living world season 3 and 4 reward tracks are a great option. Another important aspect to consider is non-repeatable reward tracks. These tracks are great for obtaining a lot of mis Mystic Clovers, which are essential for crafting legendaries. So whether you're a seasoned veteran or just getting started, make sure you keep these reward tracks in mind when planning your legendary crafting journey. Every game mode has its own special reward.
rewards, and World vs. World is no exception. While it may not have as many unique rewards as something like PvE, it still has some great options to choose from. One of the unique rewards is the Hero Weapon Reward Track. This track unlocks exclusive weapon skins that will make your character stand out on the battlefield. Another great option is the Legacy Armor Reward Track, which grants access to special armor skins that are shared with PvP. Additionally, the Triumphant Armor Reward Track will give you even more options for armor skins. For those who want to add a little bit of flair to their Warclaw, the Guild Rider Warclaw Skin Reward Track is a great choice. This track will unlock an additional Warclaw skin, but it does come with a cost of 200 gold to unlock. And, of course, for those looking to craft legendaries, the Gift of Battle Reward Track is a must-have. This track provides a necessary item for most legendary items. So, don't overlook the unique rewards that Well vs. Weld has to offer, they're definitely worth checking out. If you care about unlocking skins for your wardrobe, then you can make some decent progress with Weld vs. Weld alone. One way to do this is by completing reward tracks that contain the word armor in their name. These reward tracks will give you access to a variety of armor skins that you can add to your wardrobe. Another way to unlock skins is through dungeon reward tracks. By completing these reward tracks, you will have the opportunity to unlock every single weapon and armor skin from dungeons. And as a bonus, once you've unlocked them all, you will also receive the Dungeoneer title. Additionally, the End of Dragons reward track is another great option for unlocking skins. The End of Dragons reward track rewards you with the Antique and Ancient Kenton armor sets. And lastly, the Living World reward tracks usually have a skin in the final chest, although there are a few instances where it's instead an emote or similar. Are you looking to make some serious gold in Well vs. Weld, look no further than the best profit reward tracks. These tracks offer the most value for your playtime and are perfect for those looking to craft legendaries or make some extra coin. If you're looking for profit, non-repeatable reward tracks are a great starting point as they generally offer higher value, particularly when it comes to mystic clovers that are used for legendary crafting. But how do you know which reward tracks offer the best profit? Look no further than the Fast Farming Community website. It is the go-to to resource for up-to-date values of every Well vs. Wild reward track. Check out the link in the description to see which reward tracks will give you the most gold for your time spent. Trust me, it's worth a visit. Whether you're a new player looking to unlock the game-changing Warclaw mount, or a more experienced player looking to make some serious gold, gear up a new character, or craft legendaries, there are reward tracks that can help you achieve your goals. Remember, participation is the key to progressing your reward tracks, so make sure you check out my guide on participation participation at the link in the description. And always check the Fast Farming Community website for up-to-date values of every Weld vs. Weld reward track. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.